we strongly oppose Israel's announcement that it will advance thousands of settlement units. And we strongly oppose Israel's announcement that it began a process to re retroactively legalize nine outposts in the West Bank that were previously illegal under Israeli law. These unilateral measures exacerbate tensions. They harm trust between the parties. They undermine the prospects for a negotiated two-state solution. The United States does not support these actions, full stop. The clear and long-standing position of the United States is settlement activity is unhelpful and puts us further away from a negotiated two-state solution. That's why we strongly support the presidential statement put forward by the United Arab Emirates, which demonstrates the Security Council's unanimous collective voice on these issues. The PRST is real diplomacy at work, and we believe it signifies to all parties how seriously this council takes these threats to peace. The United States joined the other members of this council in asking both Israelis and Palestinians to take the urgent and necessary steps to restore calm and improve the quality of life for their people. All the ingredients are there for us to reach a point of no return. I do not agree with those who say we have already crossed it, as we do not have the luxury of fatalism. Every action we take now matters. Every word we utter matters. Every decision we delay matters. This Israeli government has announced its un un unlawful plan and is acting upon it. It is time for the international community to announce its, its own plan in defense of international law and to act upon it. It's time for you to act. You cannot remain paralyzed. Distinguished council members, you all understand that the Palestinian authorities support and in incentivization of terror are the most fundamental breaches of the agreements and international law, and they are the main roadblocks to peace. Until Palestinian children are no longer brainwashed to hate and murder Israelis, sadly, blood will still spill needlessly in our region.